And there is Coach K. Going for tournament win number 100. He picked up his 1200th overall win last Sunday against the Spartans. Incredible, incredible man, incredible coach. Those lineups were presented by Wendy's. And here we go, Texas Tech at 27 and nine, coming out of the Big 12 with wins against Montana State and Notre Dame to get here. As Grant mentioned the rough, tough Texas Tech defense. Physically imposing, do a great job denying, and forcing you to do drives, protect the baseline, and they pick up charges. Pollard, Smith, and Simpson are the officials for this Sweet 16 game. And now the Blue Devils and the Red Raiders are about to tangle. Bryson Williams will jump center. Mark Williams for Duke, and the ball falls into the hands, basically. Bancaro and Duke for uh, possession. Jim, Jim Dance, Grant Hill right now to Texas Tech. Here they go. And they are a big team, long, strong, athletic. And that was an air ball from the corner by Wendell Moore. And Texas Tech, yeah, you said it, Grant. They put the squeeze on you defensively, and now let's see what they do with this end. Now this is the guy here, Williams, beat you in a lot of spots on the floor. Really solid, take good shots. He can put it on the deck. What a tough shot. Drives on Williams, gets it back, and gets the soft roll. Bryson Williams with the first bucket of the game. Well, pretty pretty best. Quick, pretty pretty quick best. jump, huh? He can score 2,100 career points. So definitely putting the ball in the basket, he can get that done. And Duke's a reacting team, too. Great individual skills, which you need against this defense. Moore comes back out to Griffin. He His just, foot is fine after getting injured late in the game last week against Michigan State. And notice how they try and ice one side. Nice one. Well, that was a quick hands, and he touched it last. Roach. And, Coach, they get so wide, and they keep you on the perimeter. Texas Tech so good at keeping you out of the paint. Right there, just a little deflection kickball. Uh, Mike, Mike was telling us he wants to keep that ball in the middle as much as possible. No stationary post-ups either. Flashes. Moving around that perimeter, and they nice. come in and have that shot blocked by Mark Williams, who takes the ball away. Nice shot. Roach runs the middle, goes over to Moore, passes up the wing shot, goes to the far corner. Nice ball movement right here, but look at the coverage, though. Williams, that shot never touched the rim. Great help side there by Bryson Williams. And now they drive with Arms back out. You're not afraid to shoot it, Amanda. Here's Arms. Dead ball off the back of the rim. Pulling the plug a little bit here, run some action. They want the horn set. They don't want to that load up defense in the low box area. They have O'Banner on Bancaro, who's only touched it once. See if they set something up for the freshman from the West Coast, from Seattle. Puts up the baseliner, and that's three shots that have failed to hit the rim so far for Duke. Little touch of nerves, maybe. Bryson Williams on Bancaro. Got a hook, and he's got another one. He knows how to score. Flat out. Four empty trips so far for the Blue Devils. Because of their length, they can switch here on the perimeter. Multiple guys can guard every position, but the help on the weak side, impressive. All five guys, too, Grant. Roach. Good shot. Got it. He hit a big three late in the game against the Spartans. I'll He's say. With great confidence right now, too. How about that comeback, too? Down five with almost five minutes left. Goodness. They went from a young team to an experienced time in those five minutes. Uh, you know, th that's a day of grown up, Jim. Great point. Yep. They're no longer rookies. Back they, they go to the corner. Look at this passing to Arms, who also passes up the shot. Oh, Banner took the three. I'll tell you, the coverage was pretty darn good by Duke, too. Great reaction. No, There's a, a pass, pass stolen, and Arms! Way they play the passing lanes. You got might say he's hit. an arm's length. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. They are tough. 
No, you can't have lazy passes against the Red Raiders. Uh, stolen again. It's McCuller this time for two more. And the Red Raiders with an explosive start. You got to be tougher with the ball if you're Duke. And you got to also get ball movement, player movement. Notre Dame was able to have success moving the ball around the perimeter, get that defense to shift. Look at this double. Great kick. To Griffin in the corner, that's short. Tapped out, numbers. And again, two more on the breakaway. This time, Shannon. And getting offense off their defense. Texas Tech basketball at its best. And these young devils are having a difficult time because it's all Red Raiders early. Now, AT&T 5G takes us above the rim for one of the best plays so far, and it was the steal and the dunk by Adonis Arms. And yet, right behind it, there was more action like that. McCuller. And how about another one with Shannon? What has happened here at the beginning? The Red Raiders just dominating both ends at the beginning. And their largest deficit of this tournament after the win against Fullerton State. The eventual nine point win against Michigan State. One of five field goals, three live ball turnovers, Grant. Yeah, well, right now the Blue Devils just been punched in the face by the Red Raiders. Can they respond and get their composure and be solid here on the offensive end? There's Mitch. more looking for a place to go. Well, you nothing easy. Damn, Damn. Not even a catch. Defense is impressive. Roach. See if he can turn the corner a little bit. Look at the help. Nice David pass. Up. Beautiful pass. And Mark Williams able to dunk it down as Bryson Williams was over on Roach. And twice Roach has been able to break down the defense, get into the paint. He scored one and then a nice little assist there to Williams. McCuller, he'll take the jumper. Oh, oh. Elevate two. That size letting us know as well. Mm. The heart and soul of this team. Yeah. But he's been around, right, Jim? Yeah, he was actually on the bench. That Texas Tech run all the way to the championship game when Virginia beat him for the title in overtime. He was redshirted that year, injured, but he was in the layup line in Minneapolis in uniform, but redshirted. Here is Griffin. Got the three. That's what I like that set there. And that's and a horns look, through drive kick. He's got to make that shot to keep the defense honest. Orange brings a lot of energy to this team. Aggressive kid. There is the jump nice. by Warren off the mark. Griffin has it. And Carroll with a nice challenge make on the piece. Early look. More. Two more. They're playing with a little bit more confidence. North-south versus perimeter. So a 5-0 run for Duke. As Williams will give it up to Warren, Davion Warren. In trouble right now getting into direction. See if they trap this. Give it up to Santos Silva, and it's stolen by Bancaro. Tries to kick it in gear and take on Bryson Williams, and the shot goes. Beautiful Euro confidence control. It all starts with that defensive end. Nice gather on that ball screen. The ability to run it out. The big fella. His ability to open floor is just magnificent. Duke attacking. Mike enjoy it. Hall of Fame cameraman. Oh, look at this. Oh boy. By the way, we need Don not only for the rest of the tournament. We need him at Augusta too. Oh, he's just a great guy besides being a great talent. He's the best. Hey, so many years you've been with him, he as well. Yeah. Uh, covers golf, but you don't have to worry about that. No, no. <laughs> that's true. Well, with the way Grant Knight play, he would be afraid of a ball here or there. Yeah, that's true. I'm sure. Bancaro to try to complete a three-point play. And Duke's really done a nice job now going over the top, skip passing, dribble driving, things you have to do and make them pay for over help. And also good offense allows them to get back and set up their defense against the Red Raiders. 12 to 4 run 
for Texas Tech to start the game an eight nothing response now by Duke and John and Bacho on the floor that's tipped by nice. Roach and he's out of bounds and he knocks down the official by accident the official took the charge yeah I think it's going the other way I got it. <laughs> uh, inadvertent here but this kid is a pepper pot though you know he started early in the year then went to the bench Right. Has saved his best basketball for the end of the season and the birds left it there. Then maybe in our comments. <laughs> <laughs> he did. You're right. He started him uh, defensively in a, in a way he can rag people. But his offense uh, certainly perked up in our Michigan State game in particular. Well, thankfully, everybody's just fine and Texas Tech basketball. Shannon on the floor, 21 against Montana State. A little clock thing again, issue. You said it was a charge. <laughs> he says, <laughs> he's moving. Uh, <laughs> Good job. <laughs> he does have a, a funny, funny sense of humor. McCover. And the old joke, he hides it well. <laughs> he does. <laughs> He's all business when it counts. What an interesting matchup there. McCuller, his size, 6'6 six, six point guard, and able to take off the bounce roach, drawing fouls, but. His toughness, his leadership, so important to the success of this Red Raider ball club. Duke brings back more, and Roach goes out. They brought in during the break, they brought in Theo John, their graduate transfer from Marquette. Bring him some size underneath. That long rebound comes out to Griffin. Yeah, he's a banger too, John. Sure is. And Keel seeing action too. You don't want to drive baseline. You want to move more direct. Nice pull up. Bancaro unable to hit it. Pulled down by O'Banner. Early drag. Out to arms. Ball on the floor, and it comes right back to him. All the way back out. Oh, he had him too. Shannon not yeah. able to get to it. Uh, Terrence uh, moving right through and left. Do you think get Griffin going a little bit with some drives and finds? I'll tell you who can drive, and we saw it last week, is Trevor Keels. With Hide out strength. in the far corner. With some strength too. Yep. This Reeve, maybe they get the matchup they want out of a nice extra look, nice pump. Griffin comes in. Nice he got block. blocked. And off the floor with it, Red Raiders. Well, they cover oh, for one that. another. <laughs> what a reaction. Now Shannon has John. They up can, and in. Yeah, John can't play that far from the basket. That's not his game. It's all about physicality on the block. Kills loads up the three and plucked out of the air by O'Banner. McCuller. That shot. Tap comes out to Griffin. More surveys. Knows he's got Bancaro on the wing. How about that? Nice find. They also had Griffin on the other side. That's Why the, is it at 15? That's the one thing with Texas Tech. They give up a lot of three-pointers. An effort to keep the ball out of the paint. The three-point line is open. You knock it down. Arms trying to circle around Griffin. The pass. McCuller lost it on the way up. He's doing carries the, ahead. Be careful with the charges. That's the one thing you have to worry about. Bancaros. That's what you have to do. Skip pass. And Griffin. Get to look like this. Both pass up shots. Now Bancaro takes it. That actually hit the side of the backboard. Pass almost got away from Shannon. He's going to drive in. John defends it. Pretty good vertical. Oh, 
Right now, the physicality of this game. Both teams not giving an inch. Nice play here. Hills. Oh, that shot wasn't on balance strong. McCuller to arms in for a layup. Now they bite you. Now they can be patient. But they get the opportunity. Nice dive to the rim. Shuffle to a ball screen. And Carroll. Back to Moore. That shot. Fade away. Oh, oh wow. Pretty he under kept control. His, huh? kept his balance yeah. there on one foot. I think Ben Carroll can take advantage of these switches when he gets the size disparity and back him in a little bully ball, which we saw against Michigan State. Game tied at 17. Arms. Trying to get a handle on it. O'Banner way outside. Oh, oh wow. He has big time <laughs> range. Incredible. Leads the team in threes, made and attempted. <laughs> That's his 47th, if I'm not mistaken. What a quick release. He's had five straight NCAA tournament double double games. They averaged 18 to 9 last year. There's another three at this end by Griffin. And he can get going. Streaky's had some big games. Five 20 point games this season, 20 point plus. Nobody in the back. Oh, the lane was there to take. They didn't pay attention. Nobody on the weak side. Griffin in particular. But with O'Banner out there, you don't want to leave them. That's true. Ben Caro says, come on over here. Play a little two man game with Moore. Nice Splits split. Of defenders comes in and he's hacked. Good job with that big body, huh? using those hips. He'll shoot free throws after the break. In fourth, how would you assess what you saw from your team? Well, we there? helped their defense. We were, I thought, nervous. We passed it to them three times, and they got six points. Then once we settled down, we're playing harder and better, and now it's a good game. Thanks a lot. There's our man Don Cornelli, who was actually checked out by the medical staff here. He's doing fine. He's gonna go right back to work. A gamer. He is a gamer. gamer. Absolutely. Guys, with him and, and the official, we, we need to be careful here yeah, on the perimeter of the way this game is. <laughs> no kidding. We Physicality. Had a, we had an incident a couple of years oh. ago, and you two were under the table. <laughs> I had a protection. That was out of San Antonio. <laughs> I was scared oh. for you, coach. <laughs> by the way, the official that fell, well, you know, got, got hit by Roach was Burt Smith, who you might, you might remember passed out last year during the NCAA tournament regional final but between USC and Gonzaga. And yes. Thankfully, he was just fine. There was no incident here tonight. Okay, watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device. With NCAA March Madness Live, scan the QR code now and download. And Carol? And by the way, Jim, I think Mike Krzyzewski should keep the coach and not referee. That wasn't a very good block signal. <laughs> you know, that's not a second career for him? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I think we have higher aspirations for him. Not the meeting the officials. And right now with Jones in the game, Santos Silva's got to get going. There he is. Got to take that left away. Bacho, a very good rebounder. They got him hitting the side of the head. Bacho tried to go up and tap that in. Was that Arizona? Move south. If you don't have a body, don't go to Texas Tech. <laughs> Physically imposing. You said he was at Arizona. How about where he was originally from? Paris, France. Pretty neat. Well, Grant and I can't afford to go there. The <laughs> Some of us can. <laughs> Bacho. It's interesting hearing uh, Coach K with Tracy. Just what you two speculated on that Duke was a little nervous at the start. Little rattle, the size, the defense, and oh, a, a wedgie a there. Wedgie. A neck from the free throw. I don't know why. That shouldn't happen. How, how many times you see it off a free throw? I know. <laughs> Never. Direct from Paris. <laughs> uh, that was a work of art. That will not be sold in a boutique, <laughs> I'll tell you that. that. It won't be at the Louvre that either. That won't be the Louvre. Look for that at the Louvre? No. <laughs> right. An eagle with the wedgie, right? Yeah. Look at this. Couldn't do it if he tried again. On, no. Free throw? I mean, you see it, but not in that situation. A clunker. 
Because he's mostly a rebounder. I think with 11 rebounds against Tennessee. A big, strong kid. So the arrow belongs to Texas Tech. Inbound underneath. Mike Resting Van Caro. It's a critical time, I think. Others have to step up now. All tapped out to Roach. Maybe get Williams involved a little bit on that box. Give him a touch. Loosen it up. It's hard to, it's hard to actually enter the ball into the yeah. post, the way they front and help from the weak side. That's, that's, that's the weak spot right there. Isn't and Roach gets Duke its first lead. Steph Curry, who played for two world championship teams for Coach K. How about that? Yeah. And his brother played at Duke as well, that's Seth right. Curry. Williams way outside. Well, that helps Duke. I know he can make that, but he is tougher down on that box area. See, Roche can break down the defense individually, and you have to rely on your talents to beat this defense. Just like that, cross. Williams give it right back to him. Roach, jumper. Oh That's Williams. Williams can be tough. Kick out. Jones can make jumpers. And Williams could make him inside, but not this time. Oh, what a rebound. Look at that. <laughs> and I think they got to get Williams inside. He's been hovering on the perimeter too much. Bryson Williams for Texas Tech. Got the mismatch right now. Tough for Williams that far from the goal against that kid. How about that? Yeah. Twice he's done that. Tough Smashed match. him from way out there with an arm in his face. Oh, Banner he is something else. Made it to the Sweet 16 last year as a member of the Earl Roberts team. Transferred to Lubbock. Nice replace here. There's Jones with the three. You called for it. Nice follow. Tap back out to him. Try it again. How about this kid? Up the bend, not afraid of the moment, right? Said nine made during the course of the year. And I think for Texas Tech, either Bryson Williams inside or a banner on the perimeter. This opens up for drives with Williams out there, but I think he wants a pick and pop three. Shannon goes in. Oh, he blew past Jones that time. This kid can attack with the best of them. Three pointer put up by Moore, and it's long. And here comes Tech again. Pretty good balance. Arms driving in and fouled outside. And Jones with the body bump. Oh, do you take this one right here. This is right up your alley. Oh, man. With the left, beautiful drive and finish. Attacking the rim. Shannon having his day. During the break, Tracy caught up with Coach Adams. Well, it's just a hard fought physical battle to start this game. What do you want to see from your team down the stretch here into this half? Well, we knew it's going to be a toe to toe physical fight. And, uh, I, well, we'd like to take care of the basketball. We've had three turnovers, and then we'd like to push it. They've got a great defensive team like we, we do, so our plan is to get down and score before they get set up. Thanks a lot. Thank you. That's the Big 12 Coach of the Year taking over for Chris Beard, who left Lubbock to go to Texas, and longtime assistant for Beard and, of course, a coach in a well-traveled career, just an amazing career. And I can't help but look at this game and think of Coach Bob Knight uh -huh. and ties to both. Of course, Mike Krzyzewski and the Texas Tech Red Raiders in their history as well. Of course, connections down yep. there at Texas Tech. Revered Bob just loved his defensive philosophy. And, of course, he's followed Mike because of that. And admires what he's been able to do, as we all do. Duke's missed its last five from the field. And Carroll back fresh. And because they switch everything, it forces you to go one-on-one. -on -one. Look at that. Oh, my goodness, what a collision. Yeah, left his Lynch. feet. Got away with it, though. Got way in the air, and both bodies fell, including Warren. Tech will be called for that. You know, Roach is so good with the bounce. He ends up passing up a good shot sometimes. He got a little bit too deep. I think he went with the purpose of passing right there, but maybe could have laid it up there for, for a basket. But because they switch everything, it forces you almost at times to go one on one. You don't get a lot of action right. off of the screens that are set because but, they're so good at switching. But I think that's in Duke's favor because they have very good individual ability to break people down. 
Yes. Particularly Roche. Screen to screener kind of a deal. Griffin turns around and taps into the hands of O'Banner, who has now five rebounds to go with six points, a couple of threes. Well, you mentioned him at the point. He's got great size. There's a mid-range game as well. Williams on Williams. And it will Bryson it Williams gets it back. How oh. about the speed, huh? The wow. second jump. Get to the other side of the rim and finish the deal. Six points for him. Duke's gone almost three and a half without a bucket. And they are hugging Griffith, forcing him to put it on the deck. There you go. And Carroll turn around. Got the shot he wanted. And O'Banner, who is incredible rebounder, what he's done. Oh. On the floor, and a travel call. Well, we're already down to inside four minutes in the first half with Texas Tech up five on the two seed. You've seen so far, fellas, that has been the difference in the first half. Well, and you play a team that's good defensively that helps out so much, you got to get them in a scramble mode. Go over the top and get them in rotation. Extra ball, extra pass, a little dump inside, a little ability at the rim, uh, maybe come up empty, but that's very effective. And Duke making adjustments here, understanding the three-point shot will be there. The ability to adapt and adjust. Texas Tech allows opponents to shoot three-pointers on 46% of their overall field goal attempts, so you got to shoot those threes with confidence. You saw Shannon rubbing his ankle. He's in some pain during that timeout on that Texas Tech bench. Whether it was after the dunk or maybe picking up a charge. Four. Who walked? Yeah, he did. Having a slid his foot. Trying to do a little too much on the one move. Again, they rattle you with their excellent foot. They force you that baseline. And of course, Mike told all of us yesterday, we don't want to go baseline because they close it off and obviously step in and pick up charges. You can't let the ball stick on offense. You got to catch it, make a decision right away, shoot, drive, or pass. But you hold the ball, let that defense set up, and you're playing right into the Red Raiders' hands. Nice cross screen. Interesting matchup here, the two Williams. Here's a hook shot, wide of the mark. A great defense, and then sealing the deal with the big time snatch. That ball tapped out by arms. I think you got to step and go a little bit too. Show the ball and go, but uh, this is just extraordinary foot movement, ability to force a tough shot, and then just the opportunity to go and get it. Oh, does he protect that rim? Back in is Santos Silva. Senior, uh, spent three years at VCU. Got his degree there in just those three years. Getting Masters now, and there's more. Tough shot, sliding left, shooting right. Duke's gone now almost five minutes without a field goal. Oh, Banner. He doesn't need much space uh, at all. Well, you see him quick make two of those. <laughs> Roach. Stutter step and drive. Pretty and easy. over the rim for Williams. This kid really, he understands the game. Uh, just drawing people, getting the retention. Great communication skill with the big. Shannon. Moving just fine now. Terrible, nice job hedging. Warren. Collision, no call, Warren, three. Tapped out, and it's gonna come back to the shooter. Boy, it's hard when you defend it for that length of time. Now you gotta retool. It's hard to keep Santos Silva off the glass. They wrote that, that high low with a bump here. Warren, try to feed it, does! And the basket's made! I don't know how that ball got through right there. Santos Silva with the basket 
from off the bench. Uh, be nice activity by the big guy, though. Griffin. And pulled down by arms. Tech out rebounding, plus six on Duke. Banner weaves in, floats it up. Two more. And he is Mr. March. He is <laughs> tough. Yes. He likes this time of year. He huh? does. Uh, he's the first player since Shaquille O'Neal with at least 11 rebounds in his first five career NCAA tournament games. And now he comes up with a block at this end. Well, he's playing both ends beautifully. Coming up, AT&T at the half. First half analysis. An update on that Houston Arizona game with Houston up 10 in the first half, plus the latest NCAA tournament news coming up on AT&T at the half. And, and that's a big guy right there in O'Banner sliding his feet against the smaller, quicker Roach. He's a mobile kid, really. But Adams uses his bench, and you have to. The way they play, as hard as they play, subbing in and out, you wonder if that'll wear down these Blue Devils. There's the bounce pass, tried to get it to Bancaro. And it's going to the Red Raiders. Just 51 seconds left in the half. Usually the refs go the other way. We see a guy trying to save that ball over there. Uh, Mike not really happy with that particular call. They bring back in Bryson Williams. Here it is. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe he's right. Know. Yeah. Mike's had two big calls today. <laughs> Duke's missed 10 of its last 11 from the field. It's an 11-2 stretch here for the Red Raiders right before the half. That got away from him, though. Bryson, or O'Banner tried to save it. Well, he just got to hold it and let somebody make a move to get free. They weren't a little early. Now, this guy, what an impact he had on Chris Beard as well with their program, as we saw him in the Final Four a couple of years ago. The associate head coach for, yeah. for five years, right? Yeah. Yeah. He went with Beard. To Little Rock, came back. Of course, he had his own journey as a head coach at places like University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley, Clarendon College, Wayland Baptist, West Texas A&M. He was at Howard so many, College. He was at so many places he could have grown a big beard. <laughs> yeah. God. Instead of coaching for this, <laughs> don't you say? I got you. Uh, this okay. man loves it. Duke running it down. Five second differential here. And Carroll's got to be busy too, I think, on this. Look at the elevator. Nice play. In the lane! And, and a one! Wow! What a great call! No wonder this guy wins over a thousand games. They, they ran that against Michigan State, but a yeah. great patience there by Roach. Read the play. Griffin was covered, Williams was covered, Van Carroll was wide open. He was even startled to be that wide open. And now a three point play opportunity. But Grant, you've got to make them pay for their overplay. I mean, you've got to get them in a position where they're up to step and go, the read that everybody talks about. Ten points for Ben Carroll. And now he has a chance here with 12 seconds to go and a half to bring it down to four. I think they'll extend the four just a little bit now. Not to speed them up, but contain them. Use some clock defensively. Does a little three-quarter court pressure too. Yep. McCuller. Timeout. Yeah. Sets up it up with 9.6 seconds to go. Red Raiders on top. 33. This Red Raiders team is defensively the things that they do. Get all kinds of numbers and crunch them all, and they all come back very favorably for the Red Raiders at that end of the floor. But now, what will they do with 10 seconds to go? Uh, watch your banner, obviously, uh, on the floor as well. They got some shooters on the wing and Shannon. And McCuller maybe taking it off the bounce, getting into the paint where mm -hmm. he's had some success. You know, he's got Williams as an option as well. And Duke has the option if it wants. Only four team fouls. Wanted to make them reset. They could. Arms will be the end bounder. Texas Tech with the starting five on the floor. 
McCullough goes to the backcourt, and there is that foul yeah. we talked about by Griffin. And the seventh. Just the 15 oh, foul, first go. on Griffin. Maybe use a little more clock before you give it. A banner on the triple stack. Watch inside of Williams. Yeah, trying to do it. Oh, they got a hold though. Well, it's okay. Griffin, other than the foul. Saw that one coming, Grant. And no, no time off the clock. They come, they must take it out on the sideline again because it never touched anybody. Right. They're gonna come right back to the side and they're gonna bring Mark Williams in to defend that basket here at the end of the half. Pretty good move though by Texas Tech. Well, Great awareness. Stay inbound yeah. underneath here, Rav. Wow, then maybe somebody had a ticket then. Yeah, but if they if they touched it, they didn't take any time off. 7.7. .7. Shannon. Off on the shot. Oh, Banner. Oh, they say get that out of here. And Tech will still have a chance to shoot. How about that protection? <laughs> wow. Big time elevation. Well, this kid's an unsung performer, really. I mean, for Bullock on the inside. Whether it's rebounded, blocking shots, plays within the system. Here's the pass and the shot. No call. And we reach the half. Duke is blessed, I think, to be this close, would you say? Fortunate to only be down four against this team right here. That last possession where Van Carroll scored a three-point play was huge for the Blue Devils. Great call from the sideline. Tracy, to you. 11-5 run to end that half. What was the key there? Well, it seems like it's a game of runs, and so um, I thought we did a good job just attacking them. Our big issue right now is when we get in that half court, we got to move the ball and try to get some spacing, and um, once we move the ball, then try to drive them a little bit. Thanks a lot. Okay. Well, we've already seen the one seed out west eliminated tonight. Gonzaga falling to Arkansas. Now the two seed is down at halftime to Texas Tech, 33-29. We'll send you to AT&T at the half after these messages. You're watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Tanner with eight points and eight rebounds on his way to yet another double-double leading the way for the Red Raiders. And Tracy, over to you. I spoke with Mike Krzyzewski coming out of the locker room. He said, now we know how the game is going to be played. He said, other than those first four minutes, we're actually beating them. He said, we know how the game is going to be called. We need to drive through contact, play through contact. He said, the only one doing that right now is Jeremy Roach. Others need to do that. We need to fight every play. Jim? Very good point, Tracy. And I think that's true. I think you see a team like this, you don't realize how physical and how tough it's going to be every pass, every possession, until you're out there on the floor with them. Yeah, Coach is great at making adjustments. This team is like no other Texas Tech. Can, can they execute his game plan? That's the big if for Duke here in the second half. They got to be relaxed coming out. And O'Banner, I mean, fits fantastic. Offense, uh, rebounding, solid. And what can you say about Mark Adams' defensive scheme? Extraordinary. Their last two field goals in the final almost eight minutes of the first half were just dunks. Two of 12 from the field over that stretch. And here we go. And to your point, I think they're going to get Moore going as well as Roche. And Caro has been terrific. Trying to post him up early. A great job fronting the post, helping from the weak side. And Caro led the Blue Devils with 11 in that first half. Look at this mismatch here. Here's Roche. And again, he's the one Coach K was happy with in that first half. And he should be happy. He's a guy that can break you down off the bounce, but great patience and footwork right there. But he's going to need some help from others. They got to match the defense on this end of Texas Tech as well. Until you get back in it. Arms right back to Bryson Williams. He's going to try the fadeaway. Oh, and it rattles out. Nice rebound, too. It like was it was a touchdown. Yeah. yeah. And Carroll clears for Duke. And Ben Carroll could have tied it right there. All great Raiders underneath. And nice. He can get that shot whenever he wants. Just hasn't been able to knock down that mid-range jump shot. Driving in. And it's going to stay with Tech. Who envisioned greatness today? Well, tune in to Inside March Madness presented by Buick and find out.
Looking for help. Oh, nice they beat cut. him on the inbounds, though. Banner, and it drops. Oh, not a good job forcing the ball to the corner, defending that inbounder. Mike not really happy with the D on that play. Roach stops, goes back outside. More open look. Got the threes. Got, got to get him going. He's too good. He plays well. It's a different team. That was set up once again yeah. by Roach yeah. in his triple penetration. Williams will try it outside. Oh, yes. It's amazing. <laughs> so many areas of the floor that he can knock it down. 39th made. Trey, big he time. Had, he had foul trouble in that Notre Dame game, so wasn't really out there much, but super talented. Yeah, showing you why he's first team all Big 12. Over the top, they got him. And Williams, they really deny it. A nice doing your homework, stepping him up the lane a little bit and rewarded. Seeing some baskets here in the first two and a half minutes of the second half. As nice walk, I thought. O'Banner nice cut. Goes underneath the arms. Great cut and Tough great shot. vision. Great vision as well. Roach directs Griffin to the top of the key. What a medic switch. See if they can take advantage. They're gonna front the post. You gotta flash yeah. it into that elbow. Yeah, exactly. High low. Roach. Free throw line back out with it. Moore. Oh, oh, he almost walked. Van Carroll lobs it. Pretty. Right over the rim for Williams. Well, he's getting side to side a little bit better. Little dribble drive. Once the step up occurs, the lob. Williams, he's open. Oh, he can again. You leave him alone. He scores. He score a number of different ways, Williams. Roach. But he had it, had to give it up. There you go. Moore, he's in the paint back out. Griffin, that's wide right. Nice Tapped play. out by Williams. Moore, doubled up and he got stuck. And he got stuck as they covered Ben Carroll on the far corner. That defense so quick. McCuller goes the other side. And look who gets the loose ball. The guys in the studio are right on top of that, right? Brad, they're, they're getting the loose balls yeah, tonight. exactly. Here's Arms. Oh, Back tough. to the rim and in. Tough That's shot, special. great pivot foot. And just like you said, those 50-50 balls able to convert for the Red Raiders. And Carroll's got to keep busy. Back screen and pop. Roach, another lob, Ready. and another basket for Mark Williams. Well, he was down to the triple threat position, froze the D, great find by the little guy. Still a four-point lead, as it was at the intermission. Got to do your work on Williams. Nice drive here. Shannon got right around him. Circle right around that defense. Uh, Got to take, take away that left hand. Again, they lob it down low. Williams fouled. Almost went. Can he can get to the rim, can he? Some offense here. Base picking up, guys. Let's see some point. Team apparel and accessories. Head to NCAA.com slash shop. So Mark Williams will go to the line for Duke to shoot a couple. The ACC Defensive Player of the Year. Who they've been uh, finding here at the start of the second half underneath, lobbing it over the rim. Made five out of seven, got ten points, five rebounds, a couple of blocks. Yeah, once you turn that corner, though, the defense steps up. That's going to be coming available, particularly with Roche. And, and also, too, they may be now hesitant to come help because of Mark Williams and his effectiveness at the rim. They're really keen in on Ben Caro, too. Which should help others a little bit. Moore got free. You were saying you'd like to see them on a dribble drive replace on the same side. Could happen. The help is going to be there on any drive, particularly baseline. Got them both, and now they'll bring in Theo John for Williams. 
There's that little full court pressure here. A little 2 2 1. Santos Silva on the floor for the Red Raiders. Maybe make them use time. Wonder maybe. Do something quickly. If oh, look at this. Play. Here's Santos Silva. And he's blocked. It worked. 2 1. Up 3 on 2. Roach driving in. Comes up short. Uh, Bancaro gave it up too early. Yeah, should have kept it. It should have kept it. Give a old time religion. Get to the foul line. Jump shot. Kick. A fantastic just, block right there. John coming in, making an impact on defense. Looked like Texas Tech attacking that zone. A fantastic confrontation at the rim there by Theo John. And then Duke unable to cash in with the numbers at the other end. Duke now look, appears to be in a 2 3 zone. You have to be careful boxing out. That's right. Last when you're in a zone. This is the Bayheim influence. He's the one to talk Mike into doing it. And with the Olympic team, it works. And it works. Yeah, Beheim, Coach K's assistant yeah. for that national team. How about two guys sitting there with 2,000 wins, right? How about that, <laughs> yep. Keels. He had a big second half against Michigan State. Feeds the corner to his old high school running mate. Nice and it's rebound. John putting it back up and in. That's why he's in there. Fresh, alert. Mom's enjoying it as well. Once again, that 2-3. It's not a hands-up Harry zone that Roly Massimini used to call it. It's the first bench points of the night for the Blue Devils. This takes away the dribble drive, too, if you play it well. That's a big-time settle. But underneath is Bryson. And again, John comes in with a block. And a second block. And a whistle against Duke. And a little whooping going on, too. It's on John. Yeah, Williams and Vincaro chatting a little bit. But boy, this put a little spark into Duke as well. It really has right there. And Theo John just making his presence known. Texas Tech, not a great three point shooting team, so a smart move to go to a zone. But we talked earlier, you have to block out. But even in that case, they didn't come up with the ball. Well, you look at it every time Bryson Williams is in the area, he's getting the loose ball all night long. Mm -hmm. Tech one for four from the line. Coca Cola, zero sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? Try it first. Warren goes out. O'Banner goes out. And now Texas Tech. The Dolly on the And the Dolly coming yeah. in for the first time. Uh, he's a kid who can put it on the deck and be creative. Had a big game against Kansas. 17 points early in the year. They go deep. They're not afraid to put people on the floor. He hit a game winning free throw versus Oklahoma. In the Big 12 tournament, so multiple guys have stepped up at different times for this team. And also, one of the Jim's hometowns, he's from France. <laughs> <laughs> that one I haven't heard. I haven't claimed. <laughs> one of the few. So, one of two for Williams. Griffin looking around shut off out the Roach with seven to shoot uh, nice. that's all that comes in and commits the foul a uh, good little guards attack that hip especially with the pressure and the physicality in terms of how Texas Tech plays Roach being aggressive paying off Roach trying to work that screen that John was setting then released, but it wasn't there underneath. Keels and Carroll only attempted one in the second half. He loves that drive spin. Griffin, tough shot. Got it. All net. Well, that can open up some things now. Drag a guy away that far to cover. Sixth tie of the night. Same with the 2 3. Nobody flashed into that elbow. Madonna looking or back outside on. and it's arms. Arms working well, on kills. Well, they are totally confused and swallowed up. Strength of kills. Well, no passing, no movement, no no flashing. Poor offensive execution against this zone. A guaranteed no preparation during the week against the zone. Because Mike's not known for it. And we have seen it over the course of the last couple of years. They'll throw it in there. Sprinkle it. You called it before they did it. 
Might not be a bad thought. Four seconds to shoot. The arrow belonged to the Red Raiders. Off the tie up, and O'Banner short with a shot. They stayed, he went man on that out of bounds. Duke has an lead and six and a half to go in the first half. Got a chance to take the lead back now. There's that same play as before, and they open up the driving lane. Had to pass up on the shot to the corner, and it rattles out for kills. Roach the catalyst. Great close out there on Keels, though. Nice hands here. Saved by John. They right to arms. It. Again, they come up with it. McCullough. Tapped around, and this time it's Duke. Uh, very fortunate. Not really reacting as quickly as they're capable. You wonder if they're wearing down a bit. Texas Tech rotating in and out, staying fresh. They're riding that elevator. And Carroll for the lead. That was decisive right there. Didn't wait for the double team. Went quick. He was able to convert. A 9-1 to one run for the Blue Devils. They've come back from an early eight-point deficit. Take us to the break. Take it to the bank, Raph. How about that bank, Carroll? Little turnaround jumper. Big fella doing a heck of a job. No swan song for Michael. Second straight year to the Elite Eight. Razorbacks have not been to the Final Four since 95 in Seattle. They lost in the championship game to UCLA, trying to go for back-to-back -back titles. And uh, Jim Herrick was on the bench for UCLA. Coach Wooden was in the stands. Who was Grant rooting for in that game? <laughs> well, they had just had back-to-back -back doubles. Yeah. Well, that was a great Arkansas team. I mean, Corliss Williamson, you Scotty you Thurman. You from 94. Sure. I knew it. Oh, oh, man. Your last game. And Incredible team. Of course, the 2-2-1. Two, two, Mike's pulling it all out right now. The zone's been very favorable. See if he backs to the 2-3 or goes man one trip to shake him up. And then they go back to the 2-3. And, and he stays it. with Theo John. As Who's played well. well. Played great. Let's yeah. see if Texas Tech can make an adjustment attacking this zone. They finally flashed to the post with O'Banner. And now Williams. Now you can do some disbursement. On the baseline. McCuller takes away the drive game, though. Down to five. Pass. In the paint. Wow. Look at Bryce and Williams what create. A, what a, a shot. Cut. What a cut. And the shot that complimented. Beautiful. First bucket in four minutes for the Red Raiders. Van Carroll just scored. See if they go back to him. Well, they love that elevator. Heels to the corner. Griffin. All Red Raiders underneath. Warren bounces it down low on the blocks. Nice cut again. Pass. How about that? Assist by Bryson Williams. And nice adjustment. Mark Adams figuring out how to attack the seams of this defense. Great pass. Great finish. A great use of the timeout. Yeah, look what that coach did yeah, in that yeah. timeout. Uh, this, as we said, he's a lifer. Yeah, a tactician. That guy he gave up the hockey deal. Yeah, right? he was an owner of a minor league hockey team. Is out of basketball for a while. Here's Roach. Puts it up and it falls. Love the kid. And a foul. He's got some moxie. He's got some low viability and some confidence too. Because the lobs earlier this time takes it on his own. He's got that English, hasn't he? He does. Not afraid to attack the trees there and finish amongst the bigs. Making big play. He did it last weekend. Continued here. Second foul on Bryson Williams, and now Roach can give Duke the lead by one. You have to wonder now if Duke will maybe go back to a man-to-man -man defense. He had switched it uh, a little 2-2-1, two -two but no, staying with it. Staying with it. now Williams back in the game. Got well, presence at the rim. I think it's more maybe fatigue as well. I mean, you move in the zone, but not this nice little split spin. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. What a spin move that was. Ooh, that was nasty. Two defenders. <laughs> nasty. Look at them hustle back. Rip it. And a quick hand in there, but they call a foul. And the goalie maybe, but he got away with it. Well, they were off and running, too, yeah, if it wasn't were, a whistle. They were, this is beautiful. Pirouette. I mean, the balance right there to be able to gather yourself and. Coach K. You saw that a few times. 
Uh, <laughs> Believe you me, yes. <laughs> Thirty-second timeout called by Duke. Inside, ten minutes to go, and a nail biter here as Texas Tech and Duke tangle for the right to play Arkansas Saturday for the regional final out west. Tracy, over to you. And Mike Shashevsky not pleased with that Bryson Williams drive there. He said, "We need to take the paint away. That's how they're scoring. We got to keep it tight inside." He said. We want to do strong drives, but we don't want them to have strong drives. Jim? All right, Trey. So Bryson going to sit on the bench for a moment. A little zone look here now. Uh, yeah, They've done this. They did it against in the tournament. A chess match. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See if that can be handled and cope with. Ooh, not a good Tough pass. And it's arms Boy. up ahead. McCuller. And he got the basket to drop. How about both coaches? Their bag of tricks, huh? A little counter punch by Mark Adams. He came out there on that first pass, a trap similar to what North Carolina yeah. used to do. And then able to force the turnover and three point play opportunity. McCuller is so good in transition. McCuller, whose parents met at Texas Tech, his father, Kevin Sr., was a linebacker at Texas Tech for coach. Spike Dykes and he gets the three point play and Tech is back up to the halftime margin and they go right to man to man they had used that little zone action against Notre Dame. Four. And Williams can't get free in that box and they switch to the zone. Roach. And step back with eight on the okay. shot clock back to man. And Carroll goes down underneath. And Williams is rejected. Oh, Banner was the one off of Williams' hand at the end there. Yeah, and a shot clock violation. What recovery right here. Thought Williams all alone able to finish, but Oh, Banner with the fantastic block. Great block without fouling. Great close, quick. Back to that zone now. And back to Williams on the floor. Shannon might be the flash guy on the foul line. Really want to pack inside, keep Texas Tech on the perimeter. Great flash. What a double screen and a seal. Half the round, and it's Mark Williams and the Blue Devils. Roach, who's been the instigator of things on this end for Duke. He's had a solid game. Bancaro looking for help. Griffin thought about it. Look Gives it up play. to Bancaro, checks the feet, puts it up, and in for the three. And what a Griffin. nice find by Griffin. Yeah, Griffin, and also he didn't settle. He attacked the closeout, got to the paint, and set up his teammate. Rap, he made sure those puppies were behind the they, line. <laughs> they were organized. They were definitely organized. They've been sealing the bigs in the lane here, uh, doing a nice job. Arms. Look at that step to the hole. Somehow it comes out. And again, it's Williams. Two straight rebounds at that end of the floor. There's just a little wrinkle in a zone or a look. Throws your rhythm off. Roach lob and a foul with the body by McCuller. Kind of take the legs away, but once again, the ability to decimate the D with the bounce and fine. Apollo stepping up when his team needs him. Knocking down the corner pocket three. Duke down one. You know, the beat Michigan down in San Antonio in 18 in the championship game. And tonight in San Antonio, they win that Sweet 16 matchup. Houston trying to take the second number one seed of the night out of the tournament with Gonzaga losing on this floor earlier. The job that Kelvin Sampson has done with this team last year, Incredible. getting to the Final Four and has the number one seed Arizona Wildcats on the ropes here in the second half. And losing two terrific players early in the year. And Marcus, Marcus Sasser, Sasser yeah. same yes. with Mark. Yep. So Mark Williams, though, to the line for Duke to shoot two. That ties it. And if there was some music, that could be an undercurrent the rest of the way in this game. This could be it. Join up with Master Chief. Humanity's only hope for salvation in the new original series Halo, streaming exclusively. 
Paramount Plus. Got a good stroke. He really he makes all of his field goals around the hole, but from the free throw line, he shows you something. Well, right? that, he had that dirt move last week, though. <laughs> But right now, Duke has to really do a better job guarding the paint. Ten field goals this half for the Red Raiders. Eight coming in the paint. Again, between the cracks here a little bit. There's one from the corner. How about this kid? And that is again. Rest it. Bryson Williams with wow. 17. Goodness. High score in the game. And Carroll. Nice job stopping. Moore passes on the three, drives in, and count the basket. Oh, he had an open look from the corner, then decided to take it inside. And he has a chance to get a three-point play. And I thought he passed up a, a three right there, but a great, strong drive. And to avoid the charge, the concentration, and able to finish and get a three-point play opportunity. And celebration over there with the Blue Devils. Well, he started with Ben Caro being active, too. He also passed on a three mm -hmm. as they worked it around and now more it was made 23 of his last 24 free throw attempts. There's another one. I thought that the announcer yeah, you jinx was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I know the, the two Blue Double Nation was thinking the exact same thing. But you were channeling your alma mater. Texas Tech doing a much better job in their zone attack now. With a flash. I like McCullough right yeah. there at the elbow guard. Yeah. There's Arms. Long rebound out to O'Banner. Arms gets one more chance to load it up. Again, not coming up with it. And they lose it. It's going to stay with the Red Raiders as Bryson and Paulo are both on the floor, but they've kept it alive after two misses by Arms. So they attack. It's so difficult, too, as we talked earlier, about blocking out when you're in a zone. You're not guarding a man, you're guarding an area. It can be, be problematic. It has been the last possession for these Devils. Probably run someone at the rim, I would think, or a cross screen up top here. Yeah, there it goes. They get a good look. O'Banner with a jumper. They've had Again. two offensive rebounds on this possession, and it's Griffin says no more. Two comes out with it, with numbers up ahead. Van Carroll. He'll drive in, spin it in, and lay it in. Well, that's normally spins the other way. Nice little counter by the big fella. And that gives Duke its largest lead of the night at three. Still like it on that foul line at some point. Maybe somebody could make decisions as well. You got to attack, drive the zone as well. Don't settle. Peace. That was actually <laughs> deflected, but it still goes. And a timeout called by Texas Tech. Whew. Back and forth we go for the Elite Eight. Ah, but a kid who can pick and pop, mid-range game experience. I mean, every time Duke makes a run, he answers with a big-time three, a layup, some sort of play. Fantastic effort from Williams. For a career, as you look at arms, a career for Bryson Williams that started at Fresno State for two years. Got a couple of years at UTEP, and now all Big 12 at Texas Tech and leading their charges here tonight. He'll be playing for a long time, I think. And Carroll. Nice Good catch. catch. Hey, oh! Good night. Oh! Send it in, big fella. Goodness. And Carroll with the fine. Triple drive. Beautiful dish. 16 for Williams, 12 coming in this half. It was Bancaro who set it up. As they go inside, and it's stolen. Moore got a hand on it. Tough to pass to a guy cutting away from you to the incorrect hand. And right now, Bancaro doing a great job of driving and facilitating. Roach. Back outside, it got away from him. It's Arms. And it's Arms giving it up. Smart play by Ben Carroll. Yep. Well, Santos Santa. Silva able to finish. Big defensive possession right there by Texas Tech to force that throw away, that turnover. Look for the, ele the, the, the elevator, Mike called it. Nice reaction. 
Feed it down to Williams again. That was last touch by Duke. They turn it over two straight trips down the floor. Texas Tech turning the screws defensively. They hang their hat on that end. Great at being in the pass lane, getting deflections. Of course, Williams checks back in after resting a little bit. It looked like it hit arms, but also possibly more as well. Guards have to help rebound if you're Duke. Back out. O'Banner slides on the floor, gives it up inside. And that's going to be two at the line. Williams, I think, Jim. And I don't know how William, Bryson Williams got that almost to go in with the foul. He's a magic man around that rim. This has a nose for scoring. A nice little dribble drive. Get the defense to collect. Catchable pass. He's tough. All aspects of the floor. Bryson Williams, who had a 33-point outing at Kansas. Best shooter in the conference. 16 games. Shooting 60% or better this year. Didn't Bill Self shade him in the handshake line. I'm glad you're finished. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Two for two. Nadolny comes back in for arms. We've got four minutes to go. Well, Texas Tech in a little 1 2 2 three quarter court press. And they will settle back. They're not going to gamble on it. Tech back in front by one. Two bigs with a cross screen. Five to shoot. Roach trying to create. Drives it. What a move. He waited for the. They were running out to, of time, too, Raph. Yeah, teammate to clear, set it up. Little patience, hesitate, blow by. Back out to McCullough. Beautiful rotation on that one. And Moore a little late on the close, didn't contest. Tech by a bucket. As we approach three minutes. And Carroll right back oh, wow. with a three of his own and a timeout. Duke has hit its last six. Leads by one. This is deep. With a legendary career be extended. Or will Texas Tech put an end to it in San Francisco? 2.54 to go. How about this one? All time in the Pacific time zone for Duke in the tournament. 0 and 5. Hmm. Because he loves this area going back to his days at the Presidio oh, and things of that nature. Yeah, when he left West Point, he came out here as a first lieutenant. Came to the Presidio, was part time station there, and a General Rogers, who became a four star general later on, and a Colonel Dillon, still goes to his games. Really helped him go down that road of coaching. And they go. Switch to the man to man. The Roach with the giveaway. Second on Roach. It was an amazing odyssey for your for your old coach. How he did end up in the end. Pretty incredible having that profession. Here's Bryson Williams. Oh, what a block! Well, he went to it again. He was ready. He almost had the other one. Williams. Not many times Bryson Williams has been stopped tonight. That was an emphatic rejection. Now a 220 to go. Roach spins around, puts up the shot. Wow. Two more. This kid, big time ticker. Hurt his foot too a little yeah, bit. He is uh, having a hard time. Got 13 for the game, but he's been the catalyst in many ways. Right now, Texas Tech has to get organized offensively. 
Pass stolen. Two that was Turner. Mark Williams who got a hand on it I first. He, I think he was looking for McCullough underneath and the good hands. McCullough was trying to post up against the smaller yeah. Roach. Last five points to the Blue Devils. Roach, feeling it. How about this oh, kid? Oh, wow! Big time! <laughs> oh, this kid. I thought he was hurt. Rise it to the occasion. So much for that. Grit. 120 to go. Lead is five. Got to run some stuff. They're all individual right now. Shannon. Looking. Oh, Roach. Roach is third. Yeah. Boy, they were in good shape, too, under the 10th second. Just the fifth foul on Duke. How magnificent is this kid, Ben? The confidence, the ability to elevate, make big time plays for himself or others. Nylar! Duke That's slaps it. the floor. Where's Wojo? <laughs> they did it in unison, too. As now, Tech. Has to make the most out of this possession. Williams wants it. See if they rake and help. Takes Tough the shot. jumper. It's long. Not a good one. Four up ahead to Griffin. They don't have to be in a hurry now. Have the ball in Roach's hand here. I wonder if maybe Texas Tech might want a foul right here or at least double the ball. Uh, trying to let Roach turn the corner. You might get a lob. There they give one. Finally, good call, Grant. It'll be a one and one. A little tie up underneath. Williams not happy. And you think if you're going to foul in that situation, maybe foul earlier in the shot clock. I think I think Mark may have gotten his his attention to give it. You know, he didn't see it earlier. Guys, right now Duke has hit their last eight. Careful. Are you going to do it? The announcers jinx. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. No. Finish it. <laughs> By the way, Jim, they're still talking to Roche. He was yeah, they away. <laughs> Duke has hit their last eight free throws. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure you were comfortable having that on you. That's oh, why I passed you the note. Oh, man. <laughs> now they're gonna freeze the shooter, too. <laughs> they're actually going over to look at something. Well, I think they were chatting and it carried on. It looked like there was some chirping after the play. Yeah, it was Roche no, and fine. Williams at the end of this. Watch, watch yeah, this. Yeah, uh oh, nope. you know, Roche is some competitor, though. He's not going to take anything, no matter old, how big he is. That was an old Charles Oakley play right there. Foul after the foul. I'm glad he didn't throw the ball, though. With pretty good control and good officiating, too. Gary Pollard right on top of that. Last week, they had to come from five down with about five minutes to go. Tonight, they were down two with 2.56 to play, and they've run off the last seven points. Yeah, this kid with the ball in his hands. So tough, 75%. One and one, though. Oh. Here comes Tech. Got to go quick now. Arms goes all the way in. What a seal off. Wow. Oh. Santos Silva really wow. laid the wood, opened up the entree. Did he ever. Ooh. Coach Drews, he's going to be very good in that studio. You watch tonight. All right, so again, here's what happened with Roach in this game tonight. And really, Jim, just taking over and Given what the defense is, is, is presented in front of him, whether it's getting to the rim, pulling up mid-range, making plays for his teammates down the stretch, it's been all Jeremy Roach. And full court pressure coming from the Red Raiders. 27 seconds to go for a spot in the Elite Eight. They were a little slow because Michigan State getting the ball inbounds. Oh, you got to call it. Yeah. It took a while, didn't it? Yeah, it did. They were going to let it go. Even though Banner or McCullough, either one. It was a great trap, but smart play by Moore to try to split the trap quickly. And he got bailed out there with a foul for sure. 
A perfect little spot here. He almost Good. slipped too as he was he receiving the ball. We saw that happen last week to him as well. So it's still a one and one. 79 plus. We love to have these guards who can drill them. So many guys make plays for this team at clutch time. We saw that last yeah. weekend against Michigan State, and you're right here tonight, the same thing. Two possession game now. Williams at the other end has to be concerned. Can't get pinned because he's got to help any dribble drive and protect the rim. So don't get do your homework early. It's arms. And it's Moore got a hand on it. Right back to arms. Maybe the two-three zone again. The color gives it up. Arms. And he it. it. Oh. Got it with 13 seconds. What a shot. And it's down to two. Incredible. <laughs> Eddie Ball fake. Gathered. Concentration knocking it down. Both teams making big time plays. The last time out was just called by the Red Raiders. Duke has one. Duke to inbound with 13 seconds to go. Now all can shoot free throws. They've had Bancaro taking the ball out. They haven't been playing the inbounder. I might prefer a guard taking it out because it, it'll make it a quicker decision. The other thing to remember, it's still only eight on Texas Tech, so a foul makes it a one and sure, one. So sure they're going to have to, uh, obviously, as quickly as possible. I, I would give it one good trap like they did earlier and, and maybe a rotation, but just really squeeze it, take away, particularly inbound passer steps in, maybe a guy diving in front of him as well. And of course, Duke has to be strong with the basketball, maybe some misdirection, maybe sending somebody long if they face guard. But you want to make sure you receive the ball strong with the basketball. You know they're going to reach in and try to get a steal or a foul. They don't have a hill taking it out, though, <laughs> for that long pass. Now, they will probably be big on the ball. Maybe I see Shannon. It's going to be Bancaro inbounding. And usually it's only one guy, one time you have an opportunity to pass it. So you got to be certain and step through it. They may go deep. Get it in to Griffin, and he's fouled by arms. A good giveaway, quick, and a good pass, too. And again, remember, Tech has no timeouts. If there's a miss here, the whole thing hangs in the balance on that trip down the floor for Tech. And depending on what he does now, the decision, are you going to give it if he makes both? Will, will do give that one? And when would they do it? Back in come the big guns for the Red Raiders, including Bryson Williams. Because he makes two, there's no problem. That's right. But it's a one and one for A.J. Griffin. The freshman at the line. Well, you said it best, if he misses here for Duke, yeah, that'd be smart. Yeah. And when to do it. When to foul. And a lot of guys are under seven, under six. And make sure he's not in that motion. Got them both. They hit the big free throws in the last minute. First it was Moore, then it was Griffin, and they bring Keels in. Great substitution to set up their defense now. And they're going to make them use clock with a 2 2 1. Not going to gamble. Coach K just said he has they have a foul to give, right. letting his team know. Comes into McCuller. Yep. There's that foul on Moore. With 10.9 seconds to go. Mike's getting a free timeout right here. Arms to inbound. They go right to the rim as fast as you can. Go for the two. You missed the three. It's over. Here's McCullough. Arms. He already hit one. And Here's uh, another one. It's way and off. Van Carroll with the rebound. And Duke goes to the other end to shoot two. See and Coach so K can feel it.
is an old Irish song. I don't want to go home. <laughs> and this guy does not want to go home. No. I'll tell you what, his team, they put on their big boy pants tonight. Late again, <laughs> uh, like late they again. did last Sunday. They step up. They do step up. Just finding a way to win down the stretch. What a good second one to go. Yeah, both, both teams. Yep. I mean, left it all out. Texas Tech led most of the way, but will come up short. And you can cancel those early retirement plans for Coach K as the Blue Devils are headed to the regional final. Duke shoots 71 percent from the field in the second half and did not miss a shot from the field in the last seven and a half minutes. They made their last eight field goals. The best timeout I think he's ever had that first half to calm him down and I'm sure he told him to relax. They got their legs and as you noted with the finish I mean some big time budget stepping up. And that's win number 100 for Mike wow. in NCAA tournament. Never play. be touched. Impressive. Never Incredible. be touched. What a milestone. Absolutely. It's a reoccurring theme here, though. This young pups growing up, maturing, finding ways to win. Had a tough stretch a few weeks ago. So they have clearly bounced back. They had to grit it out, gut it out. Yeah, these Texas Tech kids were terrific. Though. They really were. Wow. Tracy, it's all yours. Well, Coach, after the Michigan State win, you said you were probably the happiest you've been in a really long time. But how would you describe oh, after well, this one? This was a great game. They're a heck of a, I mean, they're really a good team. Jeremy Roach and Paolo, unbelievable moves. And then we, we played, the zone saved us. And then our kids, with a few minutes left, said, we want to go back man. So I did, and uh, I'm so happy for these guys. They, uh, they've grown up so much in the last 10, 12 days. And the grit, how about the grit and the fight they continuously show you for a young team? You said it better than me. You said it better than me. That, Trace, that's what, that's what, it's so good as a coach when, it's not nothing coaching, it's just that grit and that determination. Paulo, a couple of his moves were, you could see it on his face, saying, holy mackerel, that's the guy. I, I coached that guy, holy mackerel. Well, speaking of seeing it on your face, I'm gonna talk to this guy over here, from coach to Jeremy Roach now. And coach said it, you just came out and you did all the little things. And he inserted you in the starting lineup to start this NCAA tournament. What is it about being in command that you just embrace? Uh, I mean, it's just, just staying confident. I mean, I've had ups and downs during the season, but uh, my coaches and my teammates all have trust in me and to stay confident and stay committed, stay committed every day to the work. And uh, I, think, I think it's showing off uh, today. I know you guys want to get there so bad, but I also know how bad you want it for your coach, don't you? Yes, man. We, we, we want it real bad. I mean, he keeps us motivated every day. He pushes us 110% every day, so we got we to do our dues for him, too. Well, you're on to the Elite Eight. Good luck. We'll see you on Saturday. Thank you. Well done, Tracy. You can turn to TBS right now for Houston, Arizona. Coach K has another game. And that one will be for the right to go to the Final Four. Duke and Arkansas coming up Saturday. For Raft and Grant and Trace, Gene Steratore, Jim Nance saying so long from San Francisco. We'll send you to our studio after these messages. Duke to the Elite Eight in San Francisco.